guys, it's Meg, and I'm here for my end of the year BJD tag for 2023. Um, I have my questions here. I will also put them down in the description. Um, hopefully you can hear me alright. I don't actually have a working mic, but I have most of my BJDs here, um, or well, dolls. I didn't include the uh, fashion dolls because there are too many. There are nine questions, or, yeah, nine questions, um, and I will do my best to answer them. Yesterday was Christmas, this will be going up on Friday, and um, I hope you guys enjoy. So, also, if anybody is uh, thinking about doing it, I highly recommend it. I did this, I think, last year and maybe the year before? I don't really remember. Anyway, um, yeah, so let's get started. So, the first prompt is show us your doll family as it looks at the end of the year. So, um, complete, not complete. This is everybody as of right now. This is Deacon, my DS doll dog head on an Island Doll Hua Hua 48 centimeter body that was dyed to match. He is complete. Lyric is a Eiffel House FID Miho, and she's not complete. Cade is my DS doll ferret head on an old doll she body. I think it's the L, I never remember this one. It's a L1 pose body. It's the one without all the fancy joints. Can't remember. Uh, he's not complete, and then. Sadra is my Argonautica doll, Melee 1 4 Plus. She is complete. My Smart Doll Transcendent, who does not have a name. Then my daughter, well, it will be my daughter's, um, Imomo doll, Miko, who doesn't have a face. She's not complete. And then the two smallest, which is Sage and the little Aquarius doll that Angela sent me. Um, which doesn't have a name, probably won't get a name, she's just kind of cute, and I wanted to include her because Sage was going to be included. So Sage is a customs, a custom pennies box nature series that Angela and I did a collab for, which is also on the channel. Um, several of these are not complete, I have been waiting for better weather, um, or the inspiration to sew, because this is my D&D campaign story group thing, I don't know. And, um, these are just fun dolls. I didn't include the fashion dolls because I have too many. I did make a couple of customs, but, um, yeah, uh, I don't have enough space for everyone, so, yeah. Number two, how many doll videos did you make this year? I went back and I counted and I made 24 this year. Uh, that's way more than I made last year, so, yay for me. Um, number three is, what was your first video of 2023? It was my BJD Addicts prompt number eight, which I think was stereotypes. I think I have it written down in here somewhere. Number eight. Yeah, number eight is stereotypes, which I will, um, I will include a thumbnail for. Um, number three is how many pictures on any site or medium did you take and upload this year? I tried to count back through my Instagram. I kind of lost count around like 150 something. So I, I, I posted a lot. A lot of them I didn't count because some of them are you know, shop updates or um, things like that. So, um, I didn't count all of them, but there, there are, there are many. Um, so number five is show us the first picture you took this year. It was of Tamsin. I will include it here. Um, yeah, so that was of Tamsin, my doll leaves land, which I don't have anymore. Uh, number six is tell us the best thing that happened to you in the hobby this year. Best thing. Um, 
maybe I lose sight of these parts because I don't pay attention to best or worst really when it comes to like the hobby. It really things just kind of are. Um, best thing. Probably completing Deacon because he's he was a floating head for like two years finding his body or completing Sadra because she went through many iterations of characters and designs and all that stuff so um yeah maybe finding like finding my my character group for my actual resin dolls was um probably the best thing I guess I don't know um tell us the worst thing that happened um Uh, maybe having to sell my Coco Curiosity earlier in the year because um, we had a really, really, really unexpected uh, car break and at the time we just didn't have like the extra fundage to co like fully complete it so I, I sold her um, to make the rest of the money for the repair. Um, oh, thankfully I won't have to do that again. Um, but the start of the year was kind of rough as a, as a whole, financially, so yeah, it's probably the worst thing, having to, having to sell one of my favorite dolls. Number eight, uh, show us three favorite things you got this year. Oh, well, Angela and I go back and forth sending each other stuff. I love everything that she sends me, so I don't really have three favorite things, um, that I got this year. Obviously, um, Transcendence is one of them because, like, I've, I've loved. I mean, I even made a Monster High custom that's based on her in gray, so obviously, Transcendence would be at it. It's kind of high up there. Um, probably my last party. Um, the box opening I did for stuff that I commissioned from Angela is probably one of my. I'm gonna keep the whole box is one of my favorite things because I commissioned her for a whole bunch of stuff and I loved every single one of them books and little things for Phaedra's uh, hovel her little um, like witchy hut thing I haven't named yet um, but yeah that, that's probably one of them and um I don't know I I love everything that I get throughout the year so I don't really have like three that I can pick out really um, and what are your New Year's resolutions? I need multiple just because I have many. Um, so the first one I have is to um, put a lot more effort into my little coffee shop or my, my coffee, basically. Um, I'd like to transfer some of the things that I make that I don't have dolls for anymore over there and just be able to leave and not worry about. Um, I'm also working on a like a membership type thing because I have a lot of ideas that I'd like to share but not all of them will translate to YouTube or my Etsy shop so I'd like to maybe give people who like want to support but don't want to like consistently buy um, something to, to look forward to and that includes um, sewing patterns and some tutorials um, some things that I work on like behind the scenes I'm trying to work on like recording videos and being able to put them up there before they go live on YouTube. Um, so, and I'm, I'm working on the price of that. I think it's gonna end up being like three, three bucks a month if you do the membership. So there's gonna be some exclusives for members, but there's also some benefits for people who just tip uh, on my coffee too. So I'd like to get those um, like hammered out and, and, and done. Um, and set up because I, it's really fun to be able to do that and I, I don't do a lot of stuff on YouTube because I like a lot of it doesn't fit so um, next thing is to revamp my shop I really want to make um, that a, a focus this coming year I want to like basically go hard on it um, and I think the shop is primarily going to be smart doll like my Etsy shop is Smart Doll, and then the coffee shop will be other 
uh, like Legend Dolls and stuff, um, maybe Monster High or Penny's Box things that I sell or, or whatever. Um, just because Etsy is tricky and the tags, if you have things in your shop that have multiple like VJD companies, they don't seem to do as well and I'm not going to buy a mini V, so Smart Doll is probably going to be... But yeah, focusing on my on my shop is definitely going to be a priority this year. Um, dolls, I would like to complete Cade and Lyric um, and get them finished because I do have like two more characters that I intend to shell this year um, if I can get a hold of a Menagenu and a boy. I'm picky with my boys though. I might see if I can get another DS head. Um, I do like fox, um, so I might see if I can get a fox head, um, because I actually, I love my boys, um, I'm really glad, but finding them bodies can be really, <laughs> really tricky, because they don't have a, they don't have a standard head, and they don't have a standard neck circumference, so finding a body that works and doesn't make them look bobble-headed or pin-headed is... Um, photography, I would actually really like to take more, um, like, nice pictures, not just with my phone, but with my DSLR, um, because I, I do have a rather nice camera, and I don't really use it for a whole lot, so, um, that also means probably taking some of the dolls out, like, out with me. Sage goes everywhere because she has a little travel case she's in my purse, but... I don't actually take her out because I'm shy or I don't want to be that weird um, doll person. But yeah, I do have I do have plans to do more photography. I don't know if I'm gonna put that on my website or Instagram or where I don't know. Um, but I do, I do wanna I do wanna take more nice photos um, and projects. Um, I have. A huge list of uh, Monster High customs that I want to get done and I have um, obviously all the dolls that aren't done that I'd like to get done um, and just you know general doll projects uh, I've had a idea for a doll series like a like a weekly or maybe bi-weekly series for YouTube for years, but I, I just haven't had the motivation or the energy to really do it. I'm hoping this year I can actually make that happen because I think it would be really fun. Um, I did give Angela a fun idea um, for a series because, uh, like, I, I'm I'm really into the whole like crime, ghost, paranormal stuff. And like it's how it always seems like dolls and like ghost stories kind of go together to me because everybody always thinks dolls are haunted or creepy. So I hope I hope to see her do that. I don't have enough ghost stories to make it like relevant. So, but um, but yeah. Um, hopefully the audio on this is clear. Um, hopefully you can see everybody. My little hat I actually made. Transcendence, her own little crochet hat, um, because I was intending to wear this for mine, because yesterday was Christmas. Um, this won't go up until Friday the 29th, but, um, yeah. So, uh, yeah, and I also want to get a lot more, a lot more crocheting done for the dolls, probably for Transcendence, who really needs a name. I've been going through a lot of my own vampire books and stuff that I that I like, Charlene Harris and Anne Rice and Janine Frost and trying to find it's one of the characters that I like, but I don't know. Uh, that's enough rambling. Maybe I'll do a general update video or something. Um, I do have a couple packages coming on for Friday um, that I will be doing um, a box opening for. They are for Transcendence, and then I have a Monster High box opening that I'm going to be filming probably later today or tomorrow, and that'll be up 
at some point. Because <laughs> um, my daughter and I found some pretty awesome uh, dolls while we were out. Um, we did a I'm not going to ramble anymore. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, I hope you end up doing this tag. It's, it's actually really fun to see how your collection changes every year and how, um, you know, you change every year in your hobby. So um, I hope to see everyone else's videos. I avidly watch these every year because they are so interesting. Um, but yeah, so I will see you guys in the next one. Uh, happy holidays. Merry Christmas if you celebrate everyone has a, sa a safe and happy new year um and on to 2024 it's going to be an interesting year because my daughter turns 18 bye guys